So, hey guys, welcome to the first of what I hope will be many of the new audio version of Natsu's Reviews. There are a lot of series that I want to cover, and this is kind of a way for me to talk about shows that are currently going on, uh, or maybe haven't finished, or maybe something that recently came up in animation that I uh, wanted to talk about the manga about, things like that. So, that's basically what this is, so... I appreciate you guys checking this out on SoundCloud or YouTube or wherever you're checking it out from. Whew. <laughs> and sorry, guys, I'm a little bit nervous. This is uh, my first time doing uh, these solo. It's usually a lot easier when talking about these with other people. But uh, yeah, it's trying something out that's new and stepping out of my comfort zone. So uh, if I sound a little nervous, I apologize. But hopefully when I start talking about the actual... Uh, show or series or whatever that I will start getting very enthusiastic and all that nervous energy will go away. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so that having been said, uh, the first one, the first thing I wanted to cover is actually uh, a silent voice. Now, if you aren't familiar with it, I've been seeing this cropping up all over my Facebook feed and social media uh, from all my friends. And it's basically... There's an animated movie coming out called A Silent Voice, and if you haven't seen the trailer for it, please go and check it out. It looks beautiful and amazing, and I can't wait for this movie. I want to see it so much. It revolves around a girl who is deaf and a boy who used to bully her and is trying to uh, repent for his previous mistakes. And that just premise in and of itself is very, very endearing. It tackles an area that I think a lot of other anime don't really go into, and it's very serious in that in that element. Now, just the trailer alone may, would make me want to see this, but I found out, and here's a shout out to friends and sponsors, uh, the manga is actually up on Crunchyroll, and I was curious and I started checking it out. It had apparently been there for a while, I just didn't pay attention. So if you are a member of... Uh, if you are a premium member on Crunchyroll, you can go right to the Manga Simul Pub and read it all. I'm not kidding. All 62 chapters. There is no more. So if you're worried about, oh, I don't want to get started into a series that hasn't finished or been completed, it's been completed. So please, I cannot stress enough, go check this out. It was so cute. And I'm not going to lie. I've spent the last four hours reading this series from start to finish. You can do it pretty pretty easily. It doesn't take up a lot of time because it's a short amount of chapters, but it is beautiful and definitely well worth it. The storytelling and the characters and the emotion that go into this that really keep you kind of invested, uh, I would put it on par with series like Fruits Basket, which, oh... Like, if you're talking about heartbreaking and dealing with internal and emotional problems, Fruits Basket is definitely one of those series. But this this series, A Silent Voice, really does a, a, a great job with that. I'm actually surprised. I would be surprised. I would not be surprised, sorry. I would not be surprised if I found out that Natsumi Takaya had a hand in the writing because it feels kind of like that. But, I mean, this is just beautifully done. And I actually like how it ends with most series like this. Like, um, I, I don't technically like how the series ends because it does it in a bittersweet sort of way. Like, Fruits Basket, like, while I got a lot of the stuff that I wanted, it, it felt like because they skipped so far to where the two, the two characters, if you haven't read Fruits Basket, I'm not going to spoil it. Uh, but I'm just going to say that two of the characters, they skip forward to when they're grandparents. And I'm like... I wanted to see more of what they were like together, and even though I got a picture of, like, the the final image is those two characters as uh, elderly people, you know, walking hand in hand and being very much in love, it just felt kind of bittersweet, and I'm like, in a way, that final, that final part just felt like, wow, such a waste. I would have loved to have seen what they were like, you know, at earlier stages of their life, but past where they were when they graduated high school, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, cause they actually did that 
in the end of this series, and I was very happy with how things turned out. So I'd honestly say that while I put a lot of the things in a silent voice on par with Fruits Basket, I would say that the if the ending, at least for me personally, definitely holds up a lot better. I cannot wait to see this movie animated, and uh, I, I will say this, going into seeing the movie, knowing the, the manga content, can it only hypes my excitement for the movie. So if you want to know the story and see what's going on, I and even if you do go see it and you're like, oh, I'm curious about the manga, please go check out the manga. It is so good and definitely worthy of your time. I think everybody that worked on it just did an amazing, amazing job just putting together such a, a wonderful story in a way that just really brought out a lot of hidden emotions from me that uh, either were buried or I'd had way too much of. I've been watching Ruby season four now. And so I thought I'd cried enough already because of things happening in that. But no, this series had to make me go and feel emotions and feelings. And then my eyes started leaking and I was not happy with that. So <laughs> apparently this week is cry week for me, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, uh, my recommendation is definitely go check this out. Jump onto the Crunchyroll Simul Pub and hit it up. And if you aren't a Crunchyroll member but you'd like to become one, you can get a 30-day free trial by going to crunchyroll.com slash ftpodcast. That will get you a 30-day free trial with us. And they're sponsoring us, so it helps us out a little bit. Sh leave them a shout-out. Let them know that you checked out Fairy Tale Podcast and they brought you to Crunchyroll. Hopefully, we'll get like a pat on the back or something. Or maybe they'll maybe they'll pat us on the head like good little children. I don't know. <laughs> I'm older than most of them, so that'd actually be kind of funny to me. But whatever. Maybe they'll rub my head for good luck since I'm going bald. You don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I um, really appreciated that. And if you want to check out more from us, you can check out any more stuff that we have up here on our SoundCloud or on our YouTube. And if you want to check out stuff that I'm doing, you can run over to OTP Manga on YouTube. Uh, or you can check out Fat Dog Studios on YouTube. I have been doing writing and voicing for Log Horizon Abridged. You can also check me out on the Dash Tales channel as I am voicing Jalal in their fairy tale abridged. So I hope you enjoy those things and uh, look forward to the next review. I think I'm probably going to do Yuri on Ice. I'm really enjoying that show right now. So leave comments on YouTube or in SoundCloud. I want to know what you guys think if you've seen this series and let me know uh, what you think about Yuri on Ice because I'd love to actually read off some of your comments about Yuri on Ice for the next episode. So hopefully I'll be making these a weekly thing or... If I get enough comments coming in, I'll get it as a daily thing. Who knows? <laughs> uh, that's it for me, though. Thank you guys so much. Goodbye.